it can often catch us unaware and certainly I get lots of consultations where through illness hair has changed and really it can sometimes be the final straw. Now you can often have an illness such as something very serious like cancer where you are pre-warned that there may be a change in the hair and then the nurses and your carers that are helping you in those team know everything that there is to know. Follow their advice. In your beauty regime at home though, you might need to look at ingredients and gentler hair care and styling products or make the decision if it is going to affect your hair or it starts to affect your hair that you actually take your hair off. If you do take your hair off or lose your hair through illness, even if you're not knowing whether the hair is coming back or not, you've then got to look at the scalp. Your skin on the scalp is now exposed for the very first time since it was a baby. So it can become very fragile. It's almost like sensitive teeth. So you need to then put your moisturizers, take your facial cleansers over your scalp area, take your facial moisturizers over the scalp and definitely use SPF factors. And if you want to as well, go proud with no hair or use scarves and use also hair wigs or hair pieces if that makes you feel good. It's entirely up to you what makes you feel good. Through illness though, and different types of illness, hair can change and often you can actually get a change in the hair many months after finishing the illness or the medication or stress can cause that too. And we can see that in the skin, the nails and the hair. So what do you do there? You've almost got to reboot your routine and go back to basics and give your scalp and hair some TLC. Definitely need to start putting in then hair masks, pre-shampoo conditioners. So you can do hair masks in one of two ways. They can go on before you shampoo and you can get ones that you can scrunch or smooth into the hair that sink in. You don't even know you've got them on. In fact, you can go around and cook dinner on an evening or, you know, go out to the shops and do a supermarket shop, come home and wash your hair, yet you had a treatment in there. You can get other pre-shampoo conditioners that are more masks that go on damp hair that you can see, but then sometimes, you know, put a baseball cap on or if it's in the winter, put a woolly cap on or you can go into bed in those sorts or just stay in and watch a movie or watch the TV when they're on before you then shower them off. Your other sorts of conditioners, which aren't as effective as the pre-shampoo conditioning treatments, are the ones that you use in the shower. And that's where you need to step up, maybe a hair mask in the shower or a hair conditioner in the shower that you leave on for two or three minutes. So that way, do your shampoo as soon as you get into the bath or shower, then put the hair mask on and then wash all your other areas and things. And then it gives you two or three minutes for that hair mask to be soaking into the hair area. Now through illness with this hair texture changing, it's fragile, it might damage, it might break, it might look weaker. You need to look also maybe at scalp supplementation, so actually scalp tonics or scalp moisturizers or scalp treatments, maybe involving caffeine and peptides, things like that, and anti-aging ingredients. And they can go on without making your hair look greasy because they're designed to sink in to the scalp area and to sink down the hair follicle and around where the hair follicle is. So you shouldn't be able to see them on the hair, that's fine. And they can be a topical application to where the hair is growing from. But then the hair that is left, is that fragile? Is it brittle? Does it look dull? So that might mean not just the pre-shampoo conditioners or the masks, but then actually looking at hair serums that give more flexibility and more bounce. And definitely with the aging process, it is dryness. So it is going to be more luxurious or more moisturizing. And just like the same with anti-aging ingredients, we are looking at on the hair area, when your hair is fragile and being like that, actually looking at a better and a higher quality level of ingredient when you read your ingredient listings.